welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. It has been a hot minute since I did a comfort food for the entire family. I had a whole series going of crock pot recipes, but tonight I have a delicious Mexican flair dinner for you, your family, your friends, your kids, you name it, everybody is going to love this because it was amazing. It was so incredibly delicious. I loved it, my husband loved it. It is absolutely a must make. So if you wanna see what comfort food for the entire family, WW style, I have in store for you for this video, just stay tuned. <music> For tonight's dinner, we are going to be making tamale pie. So let me show you what is in our dinner. First, you're going to need some milk or milk alternative of your choice. You can use almond milk, non-fat Greek yogurt, minced garlic, cornmeal, white or wheat flour. I'm gonna be using minced onion. You can also use regular diced up onion. Sugar-free honey, I'm gonna be using the Nature's Hollow Sugar-Free Honey. This is from the Net Nutrition website. This honey is amazing. It literally tastes like the real thing and you can have an entire tablespoon for one point where regular honey is four smart points per tablespoon. This stuff is pretty darn awesome. You can, again can pick this up on the Net Nutrition website. I will link that website down in the description box. That's the same website you can buy the Fiber Gourmet Pasta, the Thinables and all of the other delicious WW food. So check that out below. You're also going to need some baking soda, one pound of 96.4 extra lean ground beef, two cans of pinto beans and a can of tomato sauce, some salt, some chili powder, fat-free cheese, and eggs. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. The first thing that we're going to do is add our one pound of 96.4 extra lean ground beef to our pan with our onion or minced onion, and we're gonna let this cook until it is browned. Once your hamburger is just about cooked all the way through, we're gonna go ahead and add in our two cans of pinto beans. I did drain and rinse those. We're also going to add in our can of tomato sauce and our one tablespoon of the chili seasoning. I ended up doing just a little bit more than a tablespoon just so that it had some extra flavor. We're also gonna do about a tablespoon full of garlic and then lastly, right as it's starting to get done, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my two cups or one and three quarters cup, this package here of fat-free cheese. So we're just gonna mix this all together and we're gonna let this cook down for five to seven minutes and at the end, we'll add in the cheese. Once it is done, we're gonna go ahead and transfer it here to a dish. This is about a six by nine casserole dish. I did spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Now we're gonna to put together that delicious cornbread topping. So for the cornbread topping, I have one cup of flour. And again, you can use a wheat flour, whatever your preference is. One cup of the yellow cornmeal. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add one third cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Also one half of a cup of milk or milk alternative. And then we're gonna go ahead and add two eggs and about a half of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to add just a good size pinch here to the cornmeal. And then also two tablespoons of the sugar-free honey. I did go ahead and measure it out. It was about empty. So I added some from my new container till I had the two tablespoons. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and add in our teaspoon of baking soda and then give this a big stir. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger. A willing and able to do what you want. You think I'm a then the last step is we're gonna go ahead and put the cornbread mixture over the top and we're just going to spread it so that it evenly coats the tamale pie here. And then this is gonna go into our oven for about 40 to 45 minutes or just until it's cooked completely through. You'll know because the topping will be nice and cooked and nice and brown. So here's our tamale pie ready to go into the oven. It looks delicious. So again, 350 degrees for about 40 minutes, uncovered or until it is cooked through. I just pulled the tamale pie out of the oven. It looks 
delicious. I'm gonna let it rest for just a couple of minutes and then we're going to cut this into eight equal servings and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart points. So I went ahead and cut it into eight servings so that topping is nice and thick. So this is one serving of the tamale pie with one point's worth of light sour cream on top. And the points for the tamale pie are seven smart points on both purple and blue for one eighth. Plus I added the sour cream for an additional smart point or it is nine smart points on green plus the sour cream. So this is the tamale pie and it looks really delicious. Thank you for joining me on another comfort food for the entire family. This tamale pie was absolutely outstanding. My husband said it's a must remake, so that is always excellent news. Easy to freeze, easy for leftovers, just an all-around delicious recipe for the entire family. The recipe itself is linked down below in the description box. Also in the description box is the link to my Facebook group. So definitely head over, join us. It's such a fantastic place to be. We have over 13,000 loving, supportive members who are there to root you on in your WW journey. All colors welcome, all plans welcome over in my Facebook group. Also are the links to all of my favorite things and all of the discount codes that I can save you some money on mine and your favorite WW items. Also, if you're new, I'd love it if you stuck around and hit that subscribe button and the little bell. That way you're just notified every time I upload. You don't want to miss a single video. Thumbs up this one if you love comfort food and leave your comments down below. Let me know if you are going to try this recipe for your family. Thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome back comfort food video series and I'll see you next time. Bye! What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he